We always believed that people needed to see what abortion does to a baby. They needed to see the victim in order to understand what the tragedy of abortion really is. Truth Tour is basically where we go out for a week and we hold up abortion victim photos. Just a bunch of signs showing abortion victims or unborn babies. Come out here with these pictures that show the victims of abortion clearly, show their beautiful human faces. It humanizes these children in a way that nothing else can. And whether you support it or not, you have to see the reality. And the reality is, is this. In the year 2000, the Pro-Life Action League unveiled a new kind of anti-abortion campaign, which our founder, Joe Scheidler, called the Face the Truth Tour. On the tour, volunteers display large images of aborted children at major intersections for eight days. Rather than protesting outside of abortion clinics or government buildings, the League chose sites on the tour simply for their high volume of traffic. The idea was to bypass the media who were unwilling to show the difficult truth and bring the reality of abortion directly to the public, inviting them to care about the fate of abortion's unborn and unseen victims. Abortion became legal in our country. I knew exactly what I was supposed to do. I knew that the rest of my life would be spent fighting for these kids, fighting abortion. And I will fight from the day I die. I hope I die off my boots on. When we started, my husband and I started the Pro-Life Action League, we always believed that people needed to see what abortion does to a baby. They needed to see the victim. The victim is pretty much invisible because the baby's in the mother's womb and nobody ever gets to see what the results of abortion are. Pictures were available. We right away made posters with the pictures and always used them in our demonstrations. He decided this is something we need to try. So in the year 2000, uh, we did our first truth tour. It really went over well. Over the past 25 years, the Face the Truth Tour has visited over 600 intersections across Illinois and many other states. Along the way, there have been many innovations to increase the tour's effectiveness. In 2001, Face the Truth Tour t-shirts were distributed to volunteers, enhancing the impact of the display and creating a sense of unity. The following year, Joe's son, Eric Scheider, joined the league staff and began to direct the tour with a sophisticated level of organization. Ultimately, Eric became the league's executive director. For us here on this tour, it's all about inviting people to care about these children. We invite them to care about these children, to be touched by these children, and sometimes it sticks. In 2017, the League introduced new abortion victim imagery. The original signs used on the tour showed the shocking reality of abortion, but the League recognized the need to evoke empathy for the unborn baby. League staff chose three images that highlighted the humanity of the child in the womb, focusing less on the blood and gore and more on their faces, their hands, and their feet. Captions were carefully chosen to emphasize the beauty erased from the world with each abortion. There are very few people who would describe the display on, on, on this intersection here as gentle. I'm telling you that it actually is. We scoured all the abortion pictures there are we picked the ones that we thought were the least gory and the most emotionally evocative, the gentlest pic abortion pictures you could find. That when we dial it as far down as we possibly can, it still is a depiction of violence and injustice that troubles passers-by. Shows you how very violent and how very unjust abortion really is. When I first saw these signs for the first time and seeing that it was their only baby picture, that just Oh my goodness, I was just like, wow. They're moving, they invoke sadness and loss. Eye-catching, and people wonder probably what's it about, and it's very devastating too, to just see the effects of abortion, very real. It's unfortunate that we have to see those kinds of photos, 
but they're the truth. And they show the brutality and the ugliness of what abortion really is. I love how real they are. I mean, you could see it here. The baby is obviously real and living, and you could see that all throughout all the posters. As you've seen, the Face of Truth Tour is an eye-opening pro-life event. It starts conversations, it changes minds, and it gives pro-life people a chance to put their beliefs into action. But the main reason the tour has persisted over 25 years and why it will continue is because it saves lives. I had a fellow stop here on the Face of the Truth Tour and, uh, and say, I'm on your side, but these are, I can't stand to see these pictures. They're able to share with them a story of a couple we just heard about recently uh, up in Rockford, Illinois, who came to a pregnancy center to get help. They had friends pushing them to abort, but they decided they didn't want to. And the pregnancy center asked them, why did you decide to come here instead of getting an abortion? And they said, well, we saw those pictures on the street last summer, and we knew we just couldn't do that to our baby. And you can be part of the Face the Truth Tour. You can help save a life. I've been trying to come out for quite a few years with my husband. This is the first time that it's actually worked out for me to come. I was really excited that it worked out because right now I'm going through cancer treatments. I'm in an off week, so I'm having a good week and it's a beautiful day, so I'm just happy to be a part of this. I'm here today because we need to fight for the rights of the unborn. My sister invited me to come and I was tempted to stay home. And I was like, you know what, I have the day off, there is no reason for me not to come and stand up for these babies. People don't realize that life begins at conception, and I think being out here with these pictures really shows that from the very beginning, a human being is a human being. Like at seven weeks, this baby is clearly a human being. I'm here today on the Truth Tour um, because I think it's very important that the general public understand the reality of abortion and that they know what the victims look like. We want you to join us. Be part of this life-saving work. Visit ProLifeAction.org today to find out how you can join the tour, make a gift to support this dynamic activism, or contact us to learn how you can hold a Face the Truth event in your own community. That's ProLifeAction.org.